stroke again. That just raced off at a million miles an hour. Nevin is in top touch here. Uh, big shout. Yeah, he's gone. Caught on the crease, Nathan Astle. I'd say Nathan Astle not too chuffed about this decision. Well, good strike. Well, 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 get off the mark. He has got good hands, McKellar. Smashed away. Oh, good shot. What a beauty that is. One bounce over the rope. Only a shade short, and Nevin said, I'll have that. Got him. That is the delivery. Full, hard to drive on this pitch. A good adjustment from England's most experienced bowler and the second wicket falls. Lovely shot, Stephen Fleming. Classical shot from the New Zealand captain. Ball is slowing up, but we'll have enough way on to go the whole far. Before. <laughs> well, big neck in a wicket. McCullum's on his way. And Paul Christie just gives the nod. And it's a big blow for England. Young Brendan McCullum looking to force through the offside. Good strike. That is a beauty. He's taken up the challenge, Stephen Fleming. Smash down the ground, the best shot on the game. And again, this time it's going all the way. Up into the stand. And McMillan sums it up for everyone. That is a wonderful shot from the captain. What a clean hit. Way back. Oh, well old. Nicely timed, this could go to the fence, it has. Great stroke from Fleming. Two full, and out. Wow, bonus look at that. Away Shah picks up a very sharp catch. And the New Zealand captain goes, looking to hit through square leg, and the bowling changes work. That's it, uh. Now McMillan has cleared the fence. Strong man, and the fieldsman was way off the boundary line. It was uh, Darren Goff on the boundary. Cut. And he's hit this pretty well, Craig McMillan. He's got away from Owe Shah. Is it going to get the hole? No, good piece of fielding. A good chase. Now McMillan will look to come back on the throw. He gives it away. But in the process of that, he brings up his 50. It's gone. Well up into the crowd. Six more, a big finish to the 38th over. And New Zealand are one, 68 for four. <laughs> cracking drive. Absolutely cracking shot on a pitch that's not hard to drive, not hard to... Easy to drive on, I should say. Oh, that's a lovely blow to end the over from a New Zealand point of view. Clever batting. He waited on that McMillan and dispatched at seven from the over, 188 for four. Now, Flintoff takes the catch, McMillan goes. A little bit of improvisation, which was maybe a little bit too cute. But the crowd here in Wellington will get on their feet because they realise that on this pitch, this has been a sterling effort from Craig McMillan. Oh, straight through and beautiful bit of bowling from Hoggard. Straight and full. Louis Vincent's played all round that, and that is one good piece of bowling. Craig Wright starts his last over. Cairns goes big and straight. That is a huge hit. Six runs. That is magnificent, not only from Cairns, but that man there in the blue shirt has pulled in a beauty. Oh, about ten rows back. It's the old wackety do Right out of the fat. That's a big hit. This is a big oval here. Huge. He's gone again. Man in position, getting under it. Takes the catch. 
Good solid catch from Andy Flintoff. It's gone leg side this time. And that will go the whole way for four. That is a very good cricket shot. Beautiful bowling, but Adams will pick up runs anyway. And four. The old French Cup. Harry goes high. Deep square is under it. Uh, it's a better catch. Nick Knight this time, one out of three. Huge sigh of relief for the England opener. So Nasser Hussain winning the toss and bowling on a pitch which had both captains guessing as to its particular qualities. In the end, New Zealand have put together a magnificent 244 for eight in their 50 overs. At the 15 over mark, they are three for 62. Fleming McMillan, a fine partnership of 58 for the fourth wicket. And at the 34th over, they are 137 for four. With Vincent and McMillan still together. They put on 84. But when both went in consecutive overs in the 44th, New Zealand were 198 for six. It was left to Chris Harris in his 200th game and Andre Adams 25 from 18 to get them through to that pretty useful effort. Bowling-wise, it was Goff again. He was the best strike bowler for England. Hussain had to turn to him on two or three occasions to try and help him out. Hoggard looked useful. He's got good pace. Two for 36 off eight overs. The big disappointment, though, would have been the left-arm spinner, Ashley Giles. Pitch was turning. He bowled eight overs, never got a wicket, and went for five and over. So New Zealand, they put 244 for eight after 50 overs. England then 245 to win the match and square the ledger at one all. New Zealand. Inside edge and yes, Steve Dunn says he's out. Rose for Triscothic once more. That was a good delivery. It was pretty pacey. Nipped off the pitch. Cutting Triscothic in half. In half and never takes the catch. Ball straight up here, got to be out. Who's under it in the gully? Stephen Fleming, of course. Poor option from the same. Boy, oh boy, England in trouble, big time. Well, good stroke this. Thorpe is a marvellous puller of the ball. This top of the show uh, this afternoon, we said, do not bowl short to Thorpe. now for the Kiwis give Andre Adams a job the chances are he'll do it for you of the delivery. Ten balls without scoring. And he is out of here. Lovely shot. Slower ball from Cairns. Flintoff was uh, seeing it early. Lovely swing of the bat from the big man. simple the plan working to perfection and he's gone and it's gone that's more like it that's a long way back that's exactly the point now he's going to take if you take the game to the opposition a bit just give them something to think about and the respect of this goes a long long way especially this is further than your three would That has gone a long, long way. Look at it. That's gone back, what, 20 rows? Ah! It's missing leg stump. No, it's not. No, it's not, says Dave Quested. Well, I think, first of all, I think he hit it. I think it's an inside edge. And I think it's also missing leg. So it really hasn't got very much going for it, has it? gone to Mr. Giles, he'll have to disappear, having a nice little hot shower. <laughs> High in 
the air down the long off. McCallum takes in a comfortable catch. Astle picks up his second. Nathan Astle. It's all over for England. The misery has come to an end. And how miserable it has been. The woeful, in fact, as England have bowled out for their lowest score ever against New Zealand. Top performance from the Black Caps. They are outstanding with the bat, with the ball, and in the field. They are all over England like a rash. 245 always looked a long way off on that pitch, but uh, after the start they got, it looked nigh on impossible for England, losing to Scothic Knight, Hussain and Thorpe with just 28 runs on the board. Saw a little bit of Shah, but he wasn't impressive enough. Neither Collingwood in an 11 ball duck. Only Flint off with some big hitting showed that England do have some firepower. 26 from 57 for him, but they folded to be all out for 89 which uh, was a miserable effort in any conditions. New Zealand was supreme. Adams with the new ball and Tuffy bowled absolutely superbly. And they did the damage which England never were able to recover from. Cairns bowling just the four overs, one for 11 for him. Astle 2.2, amazing figures of three for four he ended up with. Vittori spun the ball, looked uh, very likely and uh, showed good variation with his, uh, both his length and his pace and Harris. His 200th match, he celebrated in style with two scalps for just 18 runs.